Hi and welcome to Overclockers UK TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Sapphire Radeon RX 480 Nitro Plus OC Edition. The RX 480 is built on Polaris architecture with a 14 nanometer process built on FinFET technology. Now inside your Nitro Plus box, you'll find the standard kind of brown box inside that contains your graphics card. Let's just get that out of the way. With a nice padded anti-static bag containing your graphics card. Now, Sapphire have gone for a slightly different cooler than the reference blower, featuring the Dual X dual fan cooling solution, which contains two 95mm fans, which are dual bearing. This offers an 85% lifespan increase on their older generation and a 10% reduction in noise, so you get a longevity boost and you get a quieter operation when the card's under load. The differences don't stop there though. On the reference, you'll only find one HDMI with three display ports, whereas on Sapphire, they've gone for the VR advantage and giving you two HDMI, two display port, and one DVI, so that's an extra output regardless. The reference only requires a six pin, whereas Sapphire can take a six or an eight. Now, they also recommend a 500 watt PSU as minimum. We recommend something slightly higher for that, just for that little bit of headroom for future upgrades that you might wanna do. So now for a look at the rest of the cards. On the backs, you'll notice quite a big difference. The Sapphire version actually comes with a full length PCB and full length backplate. It's a monochrome design, so realistically it will fit in with any color theme you've got going in your system. So on the back of the Sapphire card, you'll notice a small cutout in the backplate revealing the dual BIOS switch, which goes between quiet mode, 1266 megahertz on the core, and boost, which is 1342 on the core, and the LED mode switch for Nitro Glow. Nitro Glow can also be controlled through TriXX 3.0 software, something Sapphire offers for their LEDs and their fans. So you can match the card LEDs to the rest of your system LEDs. Now regarding TriXX for the fans, it allows you to monitor their cooling potential and how they're doing. If one of them starts to wane a bit or show a bit of stress, you can remove it with one simple removal of the screw. Send it off to Sapphire's RMA department and not be without your card for that entire time. They'll send one back and it doesn't affect the warranty on the card, which is brilliant. With Improved Intelligent Fan Control 3 also optimizing the fans, turning them off under load, Nitro Cool Tech optimizing them for when the power increases and the load increases, and Black Diamond Chokes reducing the coil temperature for up to 15%. So cooler, quieter, and more powerful. Realistically, a combo that's hard to beat. Along with this, you've got AMD FreeSync technology and HDR, which is high dynamic range, to give the gaming a real awesome and smooth look. Now, we're gonna take a look at some of the benchmarks of the RX 480 Nitro Plus OC and see how it performs. So some real class leading performance here for DX12 and Vulcan from the Sapphire Nitro Plus. We are first in the world to be stocking this card, so for prices, more information, and to see the rest of the RX 480 range, visit the link down in the description below. Give us a subscribe if you liked it, give us a thumbs up if you liked it even more, and we'll see you next time on OCUK TV. Bye!